Hello, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy, and in this video, I'm going to discuss the Ouija board and the dangers of using one, as well as the proper procedures to use it safely if you must still use one after hearing all of the dangers. So stay tuned. A Ouija board is a tool used to communicate with other dimensions. Ouija boards have been used for hundreds of years and have been seen in many different forms throughout the years. But even today, the Ouija board is still a very popular tool and it's even found in toy stores. <laughs> So you can actually buy a, a toy for your child that can actually, you know, communicate with other realms and even possibly welcome in some negative energies that you don't really want to mess with. So in this video, I'm not only going to explain the Ouija board, I also want to explain the dangers of using a Ouija board. So. I know that one time in the past, when I was younger, um, my brother, sister, and some friends and I all decided that it might be fun to use the Ouija board. So we went out and we found one. Of course, it was at Toys R Us at the time, which I don't think it exists anymore, unfortunately. But we went and bought the Ouija board and it was a glow-in-the-dark board. I myself was a little afraid to actually use it. I was afraid to actually use it seriously, but I was afraid to use it because I actually believe in its power. And therefore, I didn't really want to mess with it. So anyway, this glow-in-the-dark Ouija board that we purchased ended up just being kind of a prank. And since it was glow-in-the-dark, we would kind of mess with it and cut out letters and charge it under the light. Um, you know, and then it would be glowing with a word on it or something like that for one of our friends in the, in the middle of the night. But other than that, we really didn't try to connect with any spirits. And I'm actually glad because I have heard a lot of stories where people have become haunted, sometimes even up to the extreme of being possessed after using a Ouija board. It is very important to remember if you are going to use a Ouija board that you must be very, very focused on exactly what you want to communicate with. If you are using a Ouija board, you are actually open, opening up kind of a portal to the spirit realm, which can also open you up to communication with demons or even Zozo who is a very popular demon in the Ouija board world. Many people who ask who they are speaking with receive the answer Zozo, Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O. And if you see that as an answer to who you are speaking with, it is never a good time <laughs> following that. If you go online and just look at some of the stories out there, you will see that it's very, very dangerous if you come into contact with the demon or the spirit of that Zozo demon of the Ouija board. So it's just so important to understand that there is a risk and it's actually, even though it's a game and you can buy it at Toys R Us or any toy store, you have to remember that it is also a serious thing and that there are some important things to remember if you do decide to still use the Ouija board regardless of the risk. So, 
A few things to remember if you decide to use the Ouija board to communicate with the dead or with spirit guides or anything at all is that you should always have more than one person playing. It's also a good idea to have both sexes. So if you do decide to play with the Ouija board, you're gonna get better results if you have both males and females present while playing. Another rule is that you should always focus very intently on that which you want to connect with during your Ouija board session. You should never just throw a bunch of questions out there and expect the answer to come quickly either. So when you ask a question, give the board and the planchette some time to give you the answer that you want. Um, so just ask one question at a time and be sure to leave some time in between for the answer to come. Now, the placement of the planchette is also important or the hands upon the planchette. Generally, you should just gently touch it with the tips of your fingers so that you're not pressing firmly on the planchette, but everyone should at least be gently touching it. And when playing the Ouija board, you should not be moving the planchette with your own power. But if it moves, simply follow the movement with your hands still touching the planchette. And the most important rule that everyone should always remember, if you decide to use a Ouija board, even if things get really, really creepy in the middle of your session, always remember, please remember to close your session by saying goodbye. So in the end, when you are done and you no longer want to communicate with the um, spirit world, then you simply say goodbye and you move the planchette to where it says goodbye on the board. This is such an important step because if you do not say goodbye and close out your session, then you are keeping the energetic portal open to the other realms. And that is how a lot of people report having a haunted Ouija board or having bad luck or bad experiences after using it and if the board is still in their possession. I believe that that happens because people don't follow the rules and they're not closing out their sessions properly. So it is just so important to be very careful while using a Ouija board to, communi to communicate with spirit and it's important to stay very focused on what you want to communicate with. If you guys have any stories about using a Ouija board, please let us know in the comments down below. Give us a little detail about what happened to you and let us know if you had any creepy, spooktacular experiences with the Ouija board. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.